To ventilate a panelized roof with two saws off the main beam, the sounding firefighters will follow purlins until they find the main beam. Once the main beam is located, the company officer will give direction where the cut is to be made. Sawyer number one will move into position. In this method, Sawyer number one will only be making head cuts. He will reach out as far as he can comfortably and move down the length of the panel from purlin to purlin. The second sawyer will move into place making the first downward cut rolling structural members. The second sawyer will also turn the saw and make the bottom cut. It will run alongside the main beam making sure to stay at least six inches off to avoid construction, nails, and hangers. The final bottom cut will be made by the second sawyer again making sure to roll structural members. This completes the cut. Sawyer number one will continue with the head cut on the next panel. Sawyer number two will make a downward cut rolling the rafters, will make the bottom cut, and then will make the final downward cut to complete the louvered section. The sounding firefighters will move into position to louver with their tools. With this method, the second Sawyer ends up making three cuts to the first Sawyer's one cut, but the head cut is typically longer and a little bit more awkward, so this makes the process more efficient. Similar to the first method, in this method the first sawyer will make the head cut and move down across the panel. The second sawyer will move into place and make a downward cut, rolling structural members. When the first sawyer gets to the end, he will also make a downward cut, making sure to roll structural members as the second sawyer is making the bottom cut, staying off of the main beam by at least 6 inches. Once the second sawyer completes the cut, the remaining sounding firefighter can louver the piece and they can exit the roof or retreat to a safe zone. If more ventilation holes are needed, additional cuts can be made moving towards the point of egress.